expert speakers will remain expert to take center stage and uh, present their views and take us through the theme. Uh, I would just like to take a few minutes to set the context and uh, then the stage stand for our luminary. So as you know, the theme which we have is the reality women, the transforming catalyst to real estate. Now, Nareko Mahi was founded by Nareko, the National Real Estate Development uh, Council. And as you know that uh, it is under the aegis of Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. It was founded in, uh, the race was founded in uh, 1998, and I think that time it was Ministry of Housing and Urban uh, Poverty Elimination. And uh, the race for Mahi, ladies and gentlemen, was uh, launched by the patron of uh, Nareko, the Honorable Minister of Housing and Urban Affairs, Shri Hadith Singh Guruji, along with uh, the then Secretary of Housing and Urban Affairs, uh, Shri Durga Shankar Mishra. And the founding members of Nareko Mahi are all very stellar personalities, exceptional women who are present with us. We have Shri Sara Subramanyam, the uh, founder president. I think we can all uh, put our hands together. And then we have uh, Dr. Ananda Ravuanchi, the founder president elect. Shrimati Khair Ulnata, the founder of Vice President, and uh, Shrimati Preeti Mudra, the founder of Digital Secretary. So, all the uh, leaders who have founded uh, Nareko Mahi. So, Nareko Mahi is a leadership initiative which is uh, by the women, for the women, of the women of the real estate sector, and in fact, not just for the for the women of the real estate sector, but for the entire real estate, driving a more inclusive growth of the sector, and at the same time bringing in gender parity, equality. Also, I must mention here that it has been strengthened and supported by the men in the real estate sector. Again, they are present with us, so we should be actually applauding them also being our backbone and supporting us at every stage. Further, ladies and gentlemen, Narendra Mahi is uh, born uh, of the facts and statistics that an industry, a 200 billion US dollar industry, which is uh, contributing almost 12% to the GDP, accounting for almost 67% to the national economy, is the second highest uh, generator of employment after agriculture, has linkages with almost 250 allied sectors. But when we look at the women at the top at the decision-making level, that's uh, very few, somewhere 17 point some percent, so even less than 80 percent. If you look at the women entrepreneurs in India, 30.5 million. But the number of women entrepreneurs in the sector, you can be counting their own fingertips. Come 2025, the contribution of this sector is all the reforms which are there in the pipeline, they actually happen and uh, they take place, they are implemented. This sector is going to be accounting for almost uh, 13 to 14 percent to the national economy. But again, women are nowhere. So that has been the very propelling thought to have the race for money. As I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is a platform by the women, and this is a platform to inform and educate, to grow and involve to ideate and discuss, to empower, to encourage and inspire greater participation, contribution and recognition of women in the real estate sector, driving gender parity, driving a more inclusive real estate sector and breaking all the biases. Now here I would also like to draw your attention on the brochure of uh, Narendra Mahi, if you can uh, show the quote, please. There's a very beautiful uh, saying, a quote from Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou is a very renowned American uh, poet and uh, also a civil rights uh, activist. The quote says, 
a woman in harmony with her spirit is like a flowing river. She goes where she wills, without pretending, and arrives at her destination, prepared to be herself and only herself. यदि हम गीता से देखें और अपने वेदों से देखें इससे यदि कोई भी आप कार्य करते हैं काम करते हैं चेतना के लेवल पर करते हैं शरीर के लेवल पर नहीं इंद्रियों के विषयों से अपने आप को अलग कर कर जब आप करते हैं तो तब आप पूरी समृद्धि में होकर समस्त रूप से कर्म योगी की भांति सौ प्रतिशत अपने अपेक्षित कार्य में लीन होकर करते हैं and this is what narayana mahi is wanting to drive in in the real estate sector that balance and harmony bringing in balance and harmony at work place irrespective of whatever differences and offering equal opportunities to everyone and if you look at the very meaning of mahi and i take you from hindi and urdu the meaning is river So it's a flowing river, so flowing of ideas, knowledge, and of course their karma. But yes, this is purely also a sexual work. <laughs> There's a great earth which symbolizes having a very, again, a grounded. And another meaning is heaven and earth conjunct. So it's a balance where we are talking about. And then lucky number one. So always aiming for the best. To be making the real estate sector as more growing and evolving, and in Punjabi, this very word means love. So all these attributes, which fortunately women are blessed with, these are our innate qualities. That is what the Rev. Mahi is wanting to bring this to the table of the real estate sector. So two very important issues which we are going to be covering in this convention is going to be inclusivity and sustainable development. And apart from that, as we're talking about the growth of the real estate sector, this is a convention which is not just on the women empowerment, but on the real estate also. So that is why we are also going to be covering certain issues, the impact of budgets on the real estate sector, innovation, sustainability, all this uh, we shall be taking a uh, day-long uh, convention. And uh, I'm sure you are also aware that uh, the The uh, theme which we have for United Nations International Women's Day this year is gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow. So I think uh, with that we are also pretty much in line in moving uh, with the theme of the International Women's Day as we take these discussions forward. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as a facilitator of this meet, uh, this is what uh, on the upper class level, or what I say, the two level, which I wanted to share with all of you. But at more of a core level, the social level, it is our uh, domain experts who are going to be taking that, and uh, from there we look forward to their very insightful view. What can be the more impactful role of the women in the real estate sector? And especially towards driving in a, a more inclusive growth, and being that transforming catalyst of the real estate sector. So with that, uh, we uh, formally inaugurate the uh, day and welcome the day as per our Indian tradition and custom of inaugurating the convention by lighting the cell phone and lamp. और ईश्वर की स्तुति और वंदना के साथ अपने अटूट विश्वास के साथ आज के इस कार्यक्रम का आगाज करते हैं फॉर दैट आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट आर वेरी डिस्टिंग्विश गेस्ट स्पीकर प्रेजेंट विद आस श्रीमती गणेश देवी द जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पेट्रोलियम एंड नेचुरल गैस मैम मे आई रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज जॉइन अस इन द लाइटिंग ऑफ द लैंड रिक्वेस्टिंग श्री गौतम चैटर्जी एंड द चेयरमैन महादेवराम श्री राजीव शर्मा चेयरमैन एम ए बेटर नरेश को श्री राजन बंदेलकर प्रेसिडेंट नरेश को श्रीमती तारा सुब्रमण्यम दी फाउंडर प्रेसिडेंट माही डॉक्टर नंदा रघुवंशी फाउंडर प्रेसिडेंट सेक्स नरेश को माही श्रीमती खैर उन्नसा फाउंडर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट माही श्री अरुण कुकरा डायरेक्टर जनरल नरेश को एंड श्री नरेश जी को नंदा एंड श्री किशोर भतीजा Good afternoon. I would like to invite.
invite our honorable speaker today, sir, Shrimati Sara Subramanian, Dr. Ananda Raghavanshi, Shrimati Shri Anupurta, if I can trust you, please, Chris. Did that uh, echo and the sound of this call? As I request you all to be bright for the national anthem and we sing the national anthem. As I said, let our love, respect for our mother nation echo in this call. Everyone has done, done our, uh, the Bharat Vidhata, so it's uh, Bharat Ko Banane Me, and Sab Ka Pohat Yung Daan Ho Prasha Hai. With that, as we uh, open the door to the, the inaugural session, I would now like to invite Ms. Preeti Singhunda, the Founder Secretary General, Nareesh Bumahi, she, ladies and gentlemen, has extensive experience comes from a very stellar corporate background, 18 years of experience with corporates and associates, and uh, she's a wellness expert, founder of Sattva Nation, which is a festival of uh, realistic wellness, and she has been contributing to the Reiko Mahi as the, the General Secretary, the founder General Secretary. She's also the Deputy Director General at Nareko. I request her for the, her remarks, uh, the opening remarks. Thank you so much, Vinay. A very good morning to everyone. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the first convention organized by Narekko Mahi, Reality Women, the Transforming Catalyst to Real Estate. As we all know, Mahi was formed with a vision to educate and empower women in the real estate and give them the equal opportunities for growth in the real estate sector. Within just a few months of inception, Mani has been able to garner the support of some of the most respected professionals, not only in the industry, but also from the government. Yes, under the aegis of Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, our uh, uh, Honorable Chief Presidency has recently Puri has won the Red for in the month of September. And this is why today is the day, a very important day for all of us. We are all here not to only to share the experiences, but it is a dream which has come true. So thank you so much for being a part of this big dream and making it big today. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, before I request our distinguished uh, guest speakers and the other dignitaries here, Stage. Uh, let's, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, deeply have a look at the vision and mission of uh, the father and daughter. I'm talking about Naresko and Naresko Mahi. And uh, if we can have a AD towards that, first the AD of uh, Naresko and followed by the AD of Naresko Mahi. Since 1998, the real estate industry has evolved for the better and is experiencing incredible change in approach towards customer satisfaction. And this instrument of change has been National Real Estate Development Council, Naresco. An organization that is steering ahead 
fifth law of change in the real estate sector since 1998. Both the government and the private sector should look at ways to augment land supplies for housing. One way may be to look at acquisition of land in adjoining areas of the urban agglomeration. Under the aegis of Union Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, the Government of India, for the development and promotion of housing and real estate sector in India, the Rainfruit activity ranges from legislative, legal and regulatory issues to commercial issues across the sector. Today, the Chief Patron of Narendra, Sri Hadith Singh Puri, Honorable Minister of State, Independent Job, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, Government of India, empowers the vision of our Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, in true terms by ensuring the availability of affordable housing across urban centers. 2022 men. The real estate industry is at the threshold of major transformation where new reforms are being made and laws are being created. Narendra in the last 21 years has contributed significantly to this positive transformation. Its key objectives are aimed at changing the face of the Indian real estate industry where housing for all remains its topmost priority. Promotion of housing as real estate industry, inculcating transparency and accountability, advocating policies at the level of central and state government. Narendra has been conducting several workshops seminars and conferences on the issues concerning the real estate sector so that various problems could be addressed and resolved. We will be making lenders more delightful, more delightful, and slowly more economic progress in the coming decade. Narendra's first two presidents, Sri G. P. Ramakrishna, ex-German Assistant Customs Commission, and Sri B. Suresh, CMB Hoopro, were directly appointed by the government of India. And Narendra's seventh chairman is Sri Rajiv Sarwar, CEO of DLS Limited, and the president, Dr. Narendra Hiranandani, founder chairman Hiranandani Group, and CMB Hiranandani Community. The most challenging time in India. A revolution of sort led by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi that is nothing for all by 2022. This is something which we are more seeking to achieve. Narendra Modi moves towards this direction. Of course, National Housing Bank, Delhi Development Authority, CDA, NBCC, HGFC, LIC, and FBI are among the founder members. The Governing Council of the Red Group has five representatives from the government and one representative from the housing and real estate industry, each having been nominated by the Chief Patron of the Governing Council Board. As a member of the Red Group, you will have access to a world of opportunities from direct interaction with the policy makers. We are here in the of construction Networking with the corporate leaders of Indian real estate industry to assisting in saving economic and industrial policies to closely engage with the government. Narendra's proactive approach focuses on helping to create a transfer and regime for business, increase efficiency and competitiveness. The Red Code is the catalyst to this day. The Red Code today is packed with trust, commitment, quality, and performance towards a better and flourishing community. Narrator, letting the real estate sector for the future. And now, uh, the daughter, the baby of my baby, and the baby of mine.
to educate, empower, and encourage women in the industry, who are already playing crucial roles at all levels to be active and to be vocal change agents. The idea became the genesis of Nareko Mahi, and it was an honor and privilege to see that vision come to life with the support and blessings of Honorable Sri Durga Shankar Mishra, former Secretary Mama, under the patronage of Honorable Sri Hardi Singh Puri, Union Minister of India and Urban Affairs, and due to present duties are unable to be here with us today. I request for their continued support in making Mahi a success. We at Mahi request the new Secretary of Mahoma, Mr. Manu Joshi, who will raise the event post lunch for his guidance now and in the future. Mahi is not just an organization but a movement that aims to create a platform for both young and experienced female professionals for learning, networking, exploring, and navigating their way through the real estate industry. It is often misunderstood that there are fewer women in the real estate industry, hence making it male dominant. This is so for the upper managers and leadership positions, but it is far from reality when it comes to contribution of women in sales, marketing, architectural, architecture, design, and most important, groundwork uh, level construction. So why do we say it is male dominated industry? Why do we fail to acknowledge the invaluable role that women have played to bring the real estate industry at the level it is today? To say to that, I say no more. Mahi is committed to creating an environment where women are no longer perceived as passive contributors but as active leaders in the various fields and real estate. It is a huge undertaking, but we are Im immensely fortunate to have gathered support from some of the best minds in the industry that we proudly call our Mahi family to help us achieve these goals. While I can speak for hours at length on the importance of inclusive work environment in the real estate sector, we have gathered a panel of stalwarts of the industry to deliberate on this very matter and give us this their varied perspectives along with some actionable steps that will help us restructure the way business is done in the future. While our focus never shifts from finding solutions for the challenges of women in the industry, as professionals, it is our duty to think about the modern and progressive way of driving the sector towards growth. The pressure, pressure, the, the pressing issue today is undoubtedly the need for sustainable and climate conscious practices in real estate development. With real estate contributing to 20% of greenhouse gas emissions, we can no longer turn a blind eye to the matter and must take more assertive steps for adoption of green building practices. There are many factors that can contribute towards ecological development, like the usage of raw materials, waste management, design, adoption of digital practices, and a lot more. Today, we have brought together experts in the field of sustainable development and research to shine a light on the subject and educate all of us on the way towards a greener and healthier future. Today is a very special day, ladies and gentlemen, today for we set the stage for the future of the real estate industry. What we talk about today will become our playbook for tomorrow, and when I look at the audience and see so many highly accomplished women and men dedicated to creating an ecosystem of equality, empowerment, and empathy. It fills my heart with pride and an assurance that things are changing for the better. Here I am reminded of an African saying, Ubuntu. Ubuntu means I am because you are. So once again, I welcome all our esteemed guests and uh, all the founders of Mahi, esteemed speakers, Mahi members, and distinguished guests. Hope we leave this room with a true understanding on why women are, in fact, the transforming catalyst to real estate. One request I think all of you are going to be our ambassadors for Mahi. Just make sure that our Mahi team excels in the future. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And as uh, you uh, said, uh, I am because 
about uh, Hiwas. So we've just heard uh, from uh, the president of Nadeshwa Mahi and now because of whom we are, we listen to the thought bearers of uh, Nadeshwa now. Inviting Shri Anand Gupta, Director Nadeshwa, who has had a very extensive experience of 33 years with the government of India, having worked in different capacities than India and then he has the expertise in the defense uh, land management. He was with the Ministry of Defense Organization, retired at the SDDG in June 2020. Thank you, Mr. Me. Distinguished on the dais, invited delegates, colleagues, and friends. I stand here because of a small incident which happened about 10 days back, when I was interacting with Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Subramanian and Mrs. Ananta, and they were telling me about the story how my came to be. And now, just now, she told me about the ethos. When she was telling me the story of the genesis of uh, Mahdi, I spontaneously blurted out from Shloka from Manuskriti. And immediately, Mrs. Subramanian told me that this is going to be our both party. And she asked me that you will inaugurate this both party in our convention. And so I stand here to inaugurate that both party. Can I have you? <coughs> I tell the meaning of this uh, shloka in Hindi first. The shloka says this jagat nadi ki puja hoti hai. अर्थात स्त्रियों का सम्मान किया जाता है वहां पर देवता निवास करते हैं अर्थात उस कुल के सभी कार्य संपन्न हो जाते हैं परंतु जिस जगह पर नारी का सम्मान नहीं होता और स्त्रियों का अपमान किया जाता है वहां किए गए सभी कार्य यज्ञ अनुष्ठान आदि निष्फल हो जाते हैं और उस कुल का कोई भी कार्य संपन्न नहीं होता उससे का होता है यज्ञ नारस्त पूजनते बनते तत्व देवता it means there are women are honored, divinity blossoms there. And there are, wherever women are dishonored, all actions, no matter how over it may be, remain unfruitful. So, with this effort, I salute the women power and dedicate this convention to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for your blessings and good wishes. And uh, now I would like to request uh, Shri Rajan Bandekar, the President uh, Narekho, a very awaited uh, pillar of Maharashtra's real estate community, chairman and director of uh, Ronald Group, and he's uh, also the convener for Housing for All.com, which is first of its kind e commerce portal launched by Narekho. I request him uh, for his. Good morning, you all ladies and gentlemen. Every time whenever we speak, we first say ladies, and today it is a really a day of ladies. A round of applause for all of you women. <laughs> On a lighter note, we are going to rap for the other. Good morning, Kirmi Devi man. Tara Subramanian, whom in real estate majority of the people know as Sarah Tara. <laughs> Chatterjee sir, who is fondly known as Vera Man. Raji Kumar sir, Ananda Man, and uh, our own DC, Alok Gupta sir. They are all I feel very proud to stand in front of all you August gatherings because this day will be remembered in the real estate sector. Why I tell you real estate sector? Because 
Fortunately or unfortunately, it was called the male dominant trade industry. Probably this was the only, only industry where women had to put a lot of products of dominant company. Now, this may be they are going to come. But the important factor is that we are welcoming them, which is on a positive note. And Nareko Mahi was formed on 24th of September 2021 with the blessings of our Honorable Housing Minister Hardeep Singh Puri sir and our then secretary whom we fondly call Mata Pita of our industry, Sri Durga Shankar Mishra sir. There was a era when we became a developer almost a four decades ago. ago. Actually, we were not called developers. Majority of the people sitting in this industry may not be knowing. We were called as Segeda. So, olden days there were Zamindar. So, from Zamindar we became Segeda. As I fondly say, this army, your life is not going to be able to develop it. Because in my opinion, the qualification was very low. There was a lot of risk in the ability. Because if you can't do anything, you can't do anything. And 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 you can't do anything. But thanks to Government Secretary Sir, Yuga Shankar Mishra, or Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi Ji, as well as Ajit Singh Puri Sir, the era came post era, which was fondly known as pre era and post era. Things have changed. Real estate is not so easy for anybody to enter. Because now you need wisdom, money power, finance, knowledge, each and everything. Of course, yes, because this industry was tough. Everybody was, was looking from outside, they used to feel, yeah, was a chip in it. But the people who are in it, they knew what all the problem. That's why. 50% of our population was majorly kept out of this. Basically, because probably they might have thought it is better to not to be in it, but post era, it's become very easy. And once again, I would like to give entire credit to our Honorable Prime Minister. Vision and mission, Beti Bachao and Beti Bada. By this thought, we also thought about why it should be only a male dominated industry. Why can't female also come in? Of course, in the real estate sector, there are women in finance, you can say finance, you can say architecture, you can say educate, you can say interior designer. Everywhere women are there. And I was just going through my organization. I will tell you, even though in the real estate sector also, probably the people who are sitting here also. Kishore Bhatika sir is sitting here, Rajiv Tullar is sitting here, many other developers. At least 40 to 50 percent workforce is female. Even in the real estate sector also. And RERA really brought that desired change. And it has also given a conscience of respect which was missing for real estate developers that has started. And I was a little bit selfish. I thought with women, the ladies that would come, as well as whatever, they will add on to the respect question also. Even though, of course, Roti Kapla or Makan, we as developers, we give one of the important aspects of human being's life, that is Makan. When I spoke to 
Tara Subramanian about forming my lead. Her first reaction was what? No, no, no. Because she thought that human beings means there will be Mrs. Siranandani will be there, Mrs. Salwar will be there, Mrs. Jain will be there, Mrs. Bandarita will be there, so on, so on, so on. But when I really explain her, uh, what we really are thinking from the point of view. Of course, she told yes, and you are all saying, I think more than 50 percent are women here in this hall also. Every woman is a superwoman in herself because she handles her family, she handles her in-laws, she handles her kids, she handles her own work. And moreover, a sample has been done. Abu, kya jata hai ki jo kati jo person nokri pe aata hai, wo kuch hai. Jo kuch din kya karti ho sakti hai, jo bhi female who is at home, to usne bhi ek din dhan diya ki main ek din kuch nahi karti. To us din usko pata chal diya ki agar usne kuch nahi kiya to karke aaj ek kya hoti hai. To uske baad mein usko bhi pata chala ki nahi kya kya kaam karti hai usme. As my Vajrap says, he, all women are domestic leaders who are really a homemaker. Today, majority of them are civil engineers, electrical engineers, as well as software engineers. And moreover, a female in the house, she knows he, which person needs which thing and at what time. Now talking about Mahi, as I said, Tara Man, so already in her name itself there is a star. Ananta, she is infinity. Another one person sitting here, if you ask her, you will have to tell me. And they have two little angels known as Aarti Ajayas Priti who have put in a real hard work and we are all seeing such a wonderful day. I would request all of you to really see if they have really done justice to their work and if you really feel the cause of Mahi is the true cause in real estate sector, then I would like all of you to give a standing version to all these five people because they really deserve it because in a such a small span, they have done a really good job. Thank you, sir. On behalf of uh, all from Marego Mahi, thank you to you for that wonderful words for everyone. And now, uh, Tom Tom, but yes, it is said that uh, God must have worked over time when he was creating a model for women. So, probably uh, that is the reason he has given, God has given us special attention that we are able to manage a lot of things. But uh, thank you for taking us, uh, sharing with us the very thought of uh, having uh, Marego Mahi. And uh, also, uh, what was uh, how the real estate sector has transformed uh, the three where are sales and now the post wealthy. And that brings me to our uh, next uh, speaker, Shri Gautam Chatterjee, the ex chairman Mahareva. So we would like to now request him uh, to share uh, his insight with you. Dignitary is on the track. All respected delegates, guys, members of Mahi, founder members of Mahi, ladies and gentlemen. 
Well, I am excited to uh, speak in the afternoon, but then uh, I was just roped in for this inaugural session also. So at this moment, I would like to congratulate her, uh, the Redco, and particularly Sara and her team, the dedicated uh, founder members of MAHI and all other members of MAHI, for putting together the team and this beautiful first national convention uh, on reality women and how that can become a catalyst for the research sector. Uh, this uh, convention, national convention, could have come at a more opportune moment, especially when we find that the government uh, attaches so much importance to this sector. We're talking about housing for all and how this sector is going to grow over the next few years. And uh, also we have seen how this sector has shown resil resilience after during the COVID period and now post-COVID, how it is coming back. And uh, in the coming years, we'll find how this sector will go. Uh, I just had the opportunity to go through this presentation of Mahi, the 10 E's. And I think uh, these 10 E's would be actually providing the wings for fulfillment of the dream and the vision that the real estate industry has post rera Rajan just now mentioned about what used to be pre rera how the sector and their leaders were looked upon pre rera the Chekedar or the builder. But then post rera there is a paradigm shift in the approach, and we need to further change the perception that the people have about this sector so that this real estate sector really is looked upon as a real estate industry. Uh, well, it has been much talked about uh, as a male dominated sector, but then I see that post rera the need for professionalism and how this sector requires uh, across the board professionals, be it architecture, civil engineering, urban planners, IT, finance, and of course marketing, where of course you excel. And I see that in most of these professional sectors, it is the women who really excel. And researchers have also shown, researchers have shown that wherever there are women in positions of these, those uh, industries and those companies and organizations have grown. So I, again, let me congratulate you once again and give all my best wishes for a day long deliberation, of which I will also be a part. And I think at the end of the day, we will certainly have very good action points to propel the sector into the future. Thank you. Thank you sir for your good wishes and also welcoming uh, the having women in the real estate sector who can bring in a lot of value to the sector. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we now have a message from uh, builder extraordinaire Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani, the Vice Chairman of Nadeko. He could not join us, but uh, he sent across this message which we would like to now say for all three. To Director Mahi for the first women convention taking place here today. I'm delighted to listen to that. Delighted because of the wonderful convention that has been organized. It is sad because I'm not able to attend this physically. So I'm here virtually, uh, which is not really the happiest way I would like to be. Then it provides the concept. In reality, is something which is going to make a world of a difference. People have not understood the contribution that women can actually play in the housing sector. In every part of the sector, there needs to be that touch for a woman, which brings about the softness in terms of design, ideas, architecture, management. And also the empathy that you need to have for every customer. Because the woman runs the home, runs the entire channel of thought and process for the purpose of buying a house. Because that is the most important piece of all. 
But today, we have the women profession. The government of the class is going to make a world of it in the speed of real estate. And, Tara Sussumanian, the leadership here is with you. I'm so happy. I know how to know that I've been 35 years and leading the HCFC and a close relationship. So it's wonderful that you are taking leadership in this role. The President, Martin Martinska, who has actually initiated this idea, and all of you today at the convention, I wish you a great day and wonderful discussion. Thank you for being my attention. And uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, who I can view of another iconic personality who had a uh, very rich administrative experience uh, earlier being uh, with the central government and then the state government holding very important positions. And before he took over as the CEO of uh, DLF, ladies and gentlemen, Sri Raji Sarwan, the chairman emeritus Mareko, I request him to please address the August Council. Ladies and gentlemen, Pir Devi Ji, Tara Ji, Ananta, Basun, Rajan Rai, Anup Ji, Kishore Rai, we need this. Okay, okay and then of course, Preeti, Kalu Jasa Ji, and all the ladies. I think all of you have realized by now that this is the most colorful convention that Narek School ever had. Thanks to the presence of ladies, it is also, if one can use the word, the most beautiful convention that Narekko has ever had till today. We are grateful to you. We are grateful to you that all of you have taken the trouble to come here. This is really the easiest task for me because there are two people whom we count as gifted. When they speak, they not only speak substance, but these two people like Dr. Niranjan Miramandani, they speak to the point, they speak what is important, and they convey the message marvelously well. For my work has become very easy, because I can give a little speech, and Daraji has shown the way that in this convention, people will speak to the point and speak little. We ladies have a way of determining that no boring long speeches how bodo thoda bahut or jaake apni seat pe baitha. And that is what the convention will be and it will be to the point. So the first thing is of course not only to give credit to Rajan Bhai and Dr. Narendra Hiranandani, our colleague Mr. Praveen Jain who is the chairman of Manitou, that they have formed this idea. In the 75th year, the first convention is taking place, flowing from the ideas of the Prime Minister, housing for all. As the marvelous speaker here said, that this is a $200 billion industry. This is a trillion dollar industry. The Prime Minister has given 1 crore 14 lakh houses already and this year 80,000 houses more. <laughs> to give you mathematics, if 80 crore people are going to stay in cities by 2040 or 50, and by our standards in India, 50% of them stay in either slums or unauthorized colonies. We need to provide housing for 40 crore people. If 5 people stay in a house, we require 8 crore homes to be made by 2040 or 2030. What the Prime Minister said is, her age, her body, so, uske upar a pakki thak milni chahiye, a dhar milna chahiye. That is why it is so important to have marriage to Mahi. Because nobody will be the bigger gainer of a pakka house 
than the housewife and the girl child. It is not only financial security which can be provided by both men and women, but the emotional security of a home comes only from the lady of the house. And the biggest potential and the biggest strength of every family is the girl child. That is why they very often say that a, a son is a son when he gets his wife, but a daughter is a daughter all her life. And that is the big role which women play. All of us have perhaps seen but never mentioned. If housing is one of the premier economic activities and industry of India, like any other country in the world, it's very like a pyramid. Many women have led the way to now break the glass ceiling to the top of the pyramid. But the bottom of the pyramid was always the woman worker. How many of us remember that it is the lady who used to carry the uh, what do they call it? Not the cement and the water of the house any house which was being built was carried by the lady and she was putting the burden up. They also used to manage the family. They also used to manage the children whom they were supporting. And after work, cook their husband and be ready for the morning. So those were the real strengths. The ladies over here, because they are so very talented, they are so very well educated, they are going to break the glass ceiling and give women their rightful place in this industry. And that is what we will be doing. And there is no one better than the Prime Minister who has led the way he is right from the toilet, which he said in his first speech in 2014 on the Independence Day when he said he everyone must get access to a toilet. From there, everyone must get a home. And I think then, for Naresko to come forward, we've had a marvelous leadership in Naresko, Dr. Narendra Hiramandani, Rajan Bhai, Praveen Bhai, Kishore, me. I mean, name it, and there will be big masters over here. Now we will see all of you ladies who are coming up. And most of all, one must remember the minister. 2017, Mr. Hardeep Puri took over. His first public function was at the invitation of Mr. Rajan Patel sir in Mumbai, September. And he has led the way to be the most responsive minister. And maybe that sent from his house. He is the only man in the house. His wife, Rashmi, was also a career diplomat. And I can share with you that she was one of the brightest because she made it to the civil services after doing her BA only. No MA, BA and those girls who can make these civil services exams by just doing a BA, they are in any case more intelligent than all the men who study longer. And she was among the topper in the women. She was higher place than even Mr. Hardeep Puri. And she's been an outstanding diplomat with the career in UN right now, which she gave up because her husband became a minister. And they have two daughters who are outstanding, Himayani and Telukma, outstanding girls who are making their own future in the city of New York in the world of finance. So you have plenty of examples to go and actually contribute to the most viable industry in India today. For the next 50 years, never think of money. This industry will provide the highest employment, the highest turnover and the highest investment. To make those eight crore homes you need almost a trillion dollars and if people are successful in making that, 200 industries would flourish. And here, the people who are 
जिनको पहले ठेकेदार बोलते थे उसके बाद बिल्डर बोलते थे अब डेवलपर बोलते हैं दे विल फ्लरिश फॉर लाइफ द फ्यूचर जेनरेशन विल फ्लरिश इन इंडिया दैट इज दंट्री टू बी इन You are catching India at the time when it is a three billion dollar economy. It has to progress towards a forty to fifty billion dollar economy. That's what the future of India is. That's where even our senior lady officers, not only like Meena Nandan, who is the Secretary of Environment, Kiran Bedi ji, who is head, I mean, who is now the Secretary of Natural Gas Ministry, many other ladies like Tara ji will come here. From the Ministry of Housing Affairs, these are ladies who are going to pave the way for a much brighter, much better future of India. I only want to remind you that many a time these stories remain untold. Kindly see a picture called Hidden Figures. It's a picture about three women, all of them coloured women in Nasa. And if they had not been there, even the first global orbit by Colonel John Glenn would not have been possible. The space program would not have been possible. It would have been impossible for USA to win the race to the moon had the ladies not been there. Some of the brightest ladies in the world. So you are a part of that legacy. India has always worshipped women. India has always given the highest place to women. It's not because it's only in our culture. It is because this ancient culture of India recognizes the importance of each person and more so the ladies and the female gender of India. That is why there was something which was said that the father married to Daughter Mahi, I think it's the other way around. They are the, they are not only equal partners. They will be the mother institution, and men will hopefully take an equal place, if not an inferior place. So please, ladies, take your future in your hands. Make this country what it seems to be. Thank you very much.